Good morning, I'm Eliza Petrie with your Ag in an Instant. Sadly, we watched our grain markets decline for another week in a row. Last week, July corn ended at $4.48, which is down four and three quarter cents. Our July soybeans are in even worse shape, going down 27 and two quarter cents, wrapping up the week at 11.77 and two quarter cents. And on your recent trip to the grocery store, you may have noticed that orange juice prices are going through the roof. Well, let me explain. We are seeing supply issues for oranges all over the world. Here in the States, when you think of oranges, you probably think of Florida. Well, since the early 2000s, citrus production has been declining by 3% each year. The USDA forecasted that this year's orange harvest in Florida was the second lowest in nearly 90 years. Now, let's take a look at this issue on a global scale. While Florida produces the most oranges in the country, Brazil produces the most in the world. Flooding and heat waves in the country has resulted in the lowest level of production in decades. But maybe instead of orange juice in the morning, you prefer milk. Well, June is National Dairy Month. While last week I reported on the history of the month, now let's get the scoop on arguably the most beloved dairy product, ice cream. Americans consume 1.6 billion gallons of ice cream every year. Now that is a lot of ice cream and it takes a lot of milk to make it. Three gallons of milk is used to make one gallon of ice cream. After a little math on a calculator, you would find that a single dairy cow could make 730 gallons of ice cream each year. Now that it is feeling like summer outside, go get yourself an ice cream treat and don't forget to thank a dairy farmer. For your Ag in an Instant, I'm Eliza Petrie. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.